Finn's like, let me be in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are actually in Burnsville, North Carolina. It's on a little baby moon of sorts. Um, it's like this little mountain town. We actually got here last night, but I, we were exhausted from driving in the mountains and we just ate and tried to go to bed. I didn't really sleep, so yeah. I'm pretty tired today. Um, but the dogs are doing well. But we're at this little city town center thing. They have a farmer's market. But they also have like some little shops and stuff. And they have a coffee shop, which is what I would like. And um, it just hit noon, so my body's like, we need yeah. to start looking for food also. We're pretty hungry. The only thing that like kind of sucks is I don't feel comfortable leaving the dogs at the Airbnb. So, especially this one there's just a lot of people here and they're not super well trained but we're gonna do the best that we can right yeah we'll so. see how it goes but anyway so <laughs> yeah I'll try to well I'll show clips throughout the throughout the weekend but I wanted to start this off because I already took pictures from this morning and didn't. this actually is the place that we almost ordered from last night right well and this is garden deli I think the snape snapdragon is this place Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. I see the... They're, like, connected somehow. Doesn't look yeah. like they're open for lunch, which is They're not. I think sad. they're they're a 3 p.m. thing. Dang, dude. But they have, like, deli food. All right, well... But... I guess we'll figure something out. Yeah. There's a farmer's market happening behind us, and they're playing a ton of music, so it's pretty loud. Ben actually decided to walk to the coffee shop and get us some food. We are gonna miss the farmer's market, but it seems like the farmer's market is mostly just like vegetables and like fresh stuff like that, which is great, but we don't need any of that currently. He got me a campfire latte, oat milk latte, which is pretty good. I don't really even know what's in here, to be honest, but it tastes pretty good. And then he's waiting for some food. He bought us some salad, so I'll show you those whenever they get done, but they were like really busy, so. They only had, uh, it's, they said it was going to take like a half hour to make two salads, which was crazy. I think we're still going to try to walk around this little town square, but I don't know. I also think we're going to, oh, there's, that bee is back. Get out of here. I hate bees. We're going to try to take a walk by some like small waterfalls as well. I just can't really hike much. I don't know how much of this clip I'll be able to use with all the music, so I don't want to talk too long. We planned this baby moon like months ago when I thought I would be much more mobile. Like, I'm a first time mom, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I just like can't do really long walks or anything. I wasn't super in shape before I got pregnant. I definitely lost some of the little bit of in shapeness that I had. But yeah, so that's where we're at. But we would still like to get outside. I'm contemplating if we're gonna go home tonight or not because I did not sleep at all last night and I don't know if I can handle another day of no sleeping. But I'll show you the salads when we get them. Oh, it looks like he's coming back. We got a little cob salad, right? Is that what that is? Yep. It looks like they put the feta in it and on the side, just so you know. Oh. <laughs> and then Ben got a house salad. Yeah, it looks kind of like a little like a little Asian, Asian kind of yeah. feel here. Yeah. I always forget and I wear glasses when I have to wear a mask and it's the worst. Okay, let's try this again. I just filmed a whole clip, but I'm not sure I'm gonna use it. You guys might be a little bit crooked, but quite honestly, it is what it is. So it is now Monday. It's 1220. 
I need to find something to eat here soon, but I wanted to kind of update you. So I had wanted this vlog to be like a baby moon vlog, but our baby moon kind of just turned into a little bit of relaxation and a lot of anxiety. <laughs> so we went to the mountains in Burnsville, North Carolina. We stayed at like this old house, Airbnb thing. It was just like, it was really stressful getting there. Ben got really stressed out driving in the mountains. I took over for him, but it was still just like kind of a stressful drive. So we got there, ordered food, and then went and ate at the, ate, ate at the Airbnb. I have always had trouble sleeping in new places and I didn't sleep much at all. I think I slept like three hours. I might have told you this in the vlog already. I'm just trying to like quick recap. So the next day I was exhausted and um, I ended up like falling asleep in the morning for a little bit. So we didn't end up being able to go to the farmer's market like we wanted to, which was fine because we had both the dogs with. I wasn't comfortable leaving them at that house by themselves. Finn is just like too anxious and I was too afraid that he would like fuck something up <laughs> at this house. In the farmer's market would have been just too crazy for them. After that, we went to go drive up <laughs> my leg. Um, I'm wearing pants, I promise. Or I'm wearing shorts, I should say. We went to go drive up to this like waterfall to hike and Ben started having some like anxiety on our way there. Long story short, Ben has a lot of unresolved health issues that we still don't understand. He got really sick a few years ago. It's kind of what threw us into the like deep debt that we're in. And obviously his health, he was, he's, there's a whole story there, but he's doing much better than he was, but he still has days where like, it's not so good. And he was just having a bad health day and he was having anxiety about going up there. I was having trouble with my heart rate, with all the hypo hyperthyroid stuff that I've been dealing with since they switched my medication and I can't get back to being level. And plus the altitude was like really affecting my heart rate. I couldn't like get it to relax at all. Plus I hadn't slept. So we ended up just driving around and looking at the mountains, which was beautiful. We ended up coming home on Saturday night. Uh, we got home around nine-ish or 8.30. And yeah, it was a good decision. It sucks because we paid for two nights and it was not a cheap Airbnb, even though quite honestly, it was not a super nice Airbnb. I didn't even take video of it because it was kind of old. Not my vibe at all. Probably more Ben's vibe, which is why he <laughs> he's the one that chose it. Just like not my vibe at all, which is totally fine. We were home Sunday. We just like, I showed you some of that. We hung out a little bit at home. Now it's Monday, 12.30. I had a doctor appointment at 8.30 this morning for the pregnancy stuff. Met a new OB. I preferred the OB I met last week, but this one was fine. Baby's heart rate was 137, which is good. My heart rate is elevated. My blood pressure was kind of low. Not like concerning. Nobody was concerned about it except for me. <laughs> I just asked her a couple questions about like magnesium. These appointments are like five minutes long unless you have a lot of questions. So very quick appointment and then I went and worked at a coffee shop for a little bit. But I came home because I wasn't feeling well. I'm having a lot of issues with like, I think it's like low blood pressure symptoms, but my blood pressure isn't like super low, but I have anemia now. Plus I'm obviously extremely hyperthyroid, which to me is much more dangerous than any of my doctors are like paying attention to. And I'm just having a lot of like heart racing, feeling very weak, feeling very tired, and it just makes me nervous. I'm like, what if I like, like I don't wanna have like a heart attack in labor or something like that because my heart is like exhausted. So I know that I'm probably being overly cautious and dramatic about that, but I'm worried about it. So I did email a doctor today. My whole thyroid got messed up. It's a whole story. I'll link it in the cards if you're interested in hearing about that. But so today I've just been trying to like get my body to feel a little bit better. It's really hard to work when you're feeling out of breath and weak and tired and all these things, which I know come with pregnancy, but I'm just telling you that like mine is 
elevated more than it should be. The lady next door is like literally looking at my house right now and it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> and then I've been looking up like baby classes and stuff and they're like completely full, which is great. I didn't know that I needed to do that like months ago. I've been trying to get a hold of my doula and she hasn't responded to me. I'm just feeling kind of like alone in all of this and feeling very overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that we need to do in the next nine to 10 weeks. I've just been feeling really overwhelmed. And for me, when I get overwhelmed, I kind of like disappear. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't do what I need to do. I did sign up for like a labor and delivery tour of the hospital. We need to look at some other classes and see if there's any way that we can go to them. Ben really wants to go, but they're all during the day, during the week, which is annoying. But yeah, there's just like a lot to do. You know, like I have all this baby stuff in my room upstairs. It's very overwhelming. I have all this paperwork I'm supposed to do. And I just feel very overwhelmed and I don't like know where to start. So I just don't. Start. I've just been feeling really anxious about like where we're gonna live and I'm sure this is all like nesting and like maternal-ness <laughs> happening that I'm just like hyper fixating on certain things but yeah I don't know I do have some work to do I was doing some of it I do need to eat I'm hoping that'll help make me feel a little bit better work eat try to relax my nervous system that's like freaking out and yeah all the things if you have had kids before and you want to give me any advice let me know <laughs> like what should i be doing right now what should i be preparing for i don't want any of the scary things i just i want to know like the logistical like should i be packing my hospital bag should i be what should I be doing? Let me know <laughs> down below. I would appreciate it because I feel like my doctors, my doula, my husband, nobody's helping me. So I'm feeling very overwhelmed. And I don't, I don't even know what to ask them in order for them to help me. So it's not that any of those three people are like not being good, helpful, good people. I just don't know what to ask them to help me with, <laughs> you know? Anyway, okay, let's go find something to eat. Okay, this refrigerator is just crazy. I do have some chili, but then I also have some like a little bit of leftover taco meat that I might just try to finish off. Hmm, what do I want? I am not sure. Here's my lunch. It is literally, can you see it? <laughs> Rice, like a tiny bit of turkey meat. I don't even think there's a full serving in there. A little bit of avocado, a little bit of tomato, the rest of the salsa that we had, and then I also put some hot sauce in there, and then, it's not like super hot, and then um, dairy-free sour cream, and then I have these chips from Trader Joe's. I am going to try to eat this. Somebody tried to call me. And go on with my day, I need to start drinking some more water because I'm sure that I would feel better in general if I was drinking more water than I am. But yeah, it's like 80 degrees out today where it's supposed to be. What even is it? But it's supposed to be like 50 in like two days or something. Oh, I guess the high is 77 today. Yeah, and then it goes down to 58 tomorrow. So that sucks. Well, I shouldn't say that. I like the cooler weather, but I just don't like these like big highs and lows they don't make me feel great but i'm gonna eat my lunch and then get back to doing some stuff around here let's see let's look at my little list i need to book a massage ben bought me like a little massage gift card for a place here because i had really wanted to get a, a massage done on my baby moon and there was nowhere to get one so um i'd like to book that for like this month at some time. I think that would feel really good, especially I've been feeling a lot more um, like soreness and stuff. I need to look up chiropractors. Hey friends, so it's a quite a few hours later. It's 5.30. Um, I'm watching a Lydia Millen vlog. I finished up with some work. I took like a 45 minute nap on the couch. <laughs> I am 
microwaving some leftover dirty rice that Ben made last night. Um, I'll be honest, it's been a rough day, which is why I didn't really show you much else. Feeling very overwhelmed with all the baby stuff and with how I've been feeling. And I don't, I told Ben, I feel like I have all these support people, but I don't feel supported and not out of any fault of their own. I think it's like a first time mom thing. Like I just have a lot more anxiety around symptoms and how I'm feeling. I've never given birth before. So the idea of doing that is very terrifying. And yeah, I just haven't been feeling well. And I was like trying to book appointments for baby classes and nothing was available anymore. I was trying to, this first world problems, but I was trying to book a massage and I can't get in for like over a month. It's just like one of those days, the lighting in here is terrible, but it's just one of those days where I was just like, my anxiety cup was like at the top of its, at the top of its, the level <laughs> that it could be. This is my dirty rice, by the way. And okay, it runneth over <laughs> as they say and I just like cried at my desk for a while. Thankfully, Ben obviously is extremely supportive and wants to help me in whatever way is possible. And sometimes I think you just need to cry when you're feeling overwhelmed. I think part of it too is I'm lonely. I don't have any friends out here. I don't have anyone out here. I just feel lonely. And like I have people like, a couple people that'll check in on me occasionally. It's scary to do this stuff alone. Yeah, I'm just feeling that more and more lately, so. But I am gonna end this vlog here just because I feel like I've just been talking to you guys and I wanna do like a full work day in my life tomorrow. I'm getting a Brazilian wax done, which I am <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about. I've only had one before and it was not a great experience. Hopefully that goes well. Ben is on call with a couple of his friends for the next half hour or so. And then I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. He might have plans, I have no idea. But yeah, I'll pick up with another vlog tomorrow and thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me. I try to be as honest and real on these vlogs because while it might not be interesting to everyone, if like one person watches it who's feeling overwhelmed, anxious, going through stuff with pregnancy, feeling lonely, it makes me feel better that like I can make somebody else feel less alone, especially when I'm feeling really lonely and alone. So, but I'm gonna eat my dirty rice. I'm gonna take my iron pill and see if that helps with some of my symptoms I've been feeling watch the rest of my vlog and chill out for the night so i'll see you in the next vlog thank you so much for watching bye